Hi guys, this is Troy Mail, and I'm just going to do a short little video here on how to do funk rhythm playing and one good little beginner funk guitar rhythm and how to practice it and how to get that really funky sound going, alright? And I've got Pepper the dog here who's trying, trying to get away, but he's sitting still at the moment. So what we do here is basically, I'm going to use the E9 chord, alright, up on the 7th fret and I'm going to just kind of slide into it doing this one little rhythm that I was just demonstrating to you there. So let me show you how I do it. Alright, so the best uh, thing with learning this rhythm is you really want to take it slowly. There are two things you have to consider. There's your right hand, what your right hand's doing, and there's what your left hand is doing. Alright, so the basic kind of best way to start practicing it is to break it down. We want to slide in with that E9 chord from the 6th to the 7th fret. So we're going to play it, strum it, and then slide in. Like that. And then we're going to add the next little bit on. Alright, so your first bit is... Alright, I'll give you kind of close-up looks all along the way here. Alright, then we want to add that next little bit, which is like this. I'll do it again. Alright. So once we've slid into it, we want, after that we want to do a little down up, watch. And then, once we've done the down up after that, we want to do a little block, watch. Alright, I'll do that again. Now I'll give you a close up look of the block, but what, what we do with the block is we pretty much release the fingers of the left hand, so we get that music kind of sound. And with the right hand, we kind of, we attack the strings like that. We mute them with our palm across the strings. All right, I'll give you. All right, and then we're going to add the next little bit of it. What we do there is we do a muted downstroke string where the left hand fingers are resting on the strings. They're not pressing down on the frets, but they're just resting. And our right hand does that. It doesn't play the strings, it doesn't rest the palm of the right hand on there, we just do that. All right. So I'm going to break it all down, hit the strings, slide from the 6th into the 7th, then do it down up like that. And then we want to mute it, and then we want to do another down, up, down, mute. Alright, and I'm going to add a little tab for this one underneath. We want to go, I'll play it again for you. And then we're going to add the last little bit on, which is going to be like this. Alright, we want to play the chord for this last bit, and we just go up, down, down, up. Up, down, down, up, alright? Tie it all together. Alright, so the main kind of thing to remember with this is the muting. What you want to make sure you're doing with your muting is resting the fingers on the strings. And you either want to be with your right hand, you want to have your palm on the strings as well and strike the strings with your pick, or you just want to have the fingers resting on the strings in the left hand but not playing them and just doing this. And it's a combination of the hands being on in the left hand, pressing down and playing and being off, and that quick kind of arrangement of going and the right hand going down, up, down, up, down, up. All right. So what I'll do is I'll add a little guitar tab for this. I'll put it all together in the video. And uh, But the best thing to do when you're learning this is to kind of watch the video and stop and start it again. Stop and start and just practice some little bits because you won't be able to get it in five seconds flat. All right, it's going to take a bit of time. All right, so I'll play that rhythm again. Do it nice and slowly.
So that's basic E9 bunk rhythm. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it made some sense to you. Uh, if you'd like to see more videos, let me know, guys. Or you like what you just saw, please subscribe. I've got more videos to come. All right, I'll see you soon.